So we're going to look at artist Tom Abyss Smith and create our own collages inspired by natural form. So Tom Abyss Smith is a contemporary British designer who uses contemporary and traditional techniques in his work such as digital collage, printmaking and painting. The first thing that you're going to do is use the photographs that have been provided to use as your references. You're going to sketch initial designs and compositions inspired by the different natural forms. Think about the size of your shapes, think about how they can relate to each other across the page, how you can get them to overlap, whether you'll have big shapes with smaller shapes. The next thing you'll do is you're going to repeat that process again using different natural forms to inspire a second composition. Now this composition again is going to be a line drawing which means you don't have to apply any shading techniques to get any tonal quality. All you need are the line drawings. So now make sure you've got last lessons drawings to hand, this is really important. You're going to be referring back to these drawings as you start to produce your collage. If you can, try and get hold of an old magazine or some old wrapping paper, the insides of envelopes, just some different coloured pieces of paper that you're then able to use to start creating your collage. I covered my entire background with one colour just to make sure there was no white spaces. If you can do that, go for it. If not, don't worry. Now with your magazines, you're going to start drawing some of those shapes that you did in your initial designs onto the sheets of paper that you've got access to. You'll then cut out the shapes and you can start to overlay different shapes on top of each other. Have a play, move things around, see what works. Some things won't, some things will. You can add finer details using smaller pieces of paper, darker colours. Really just use this as a time to experiment with different compositions, to explore, to arrange things in different ways. There's really no right or wrong answer. Now I have got a glue stick there. I don't glue everything down, I just glue some important bits that were being difficult. Um, if you have got glue, go for it, use glue. If you don't have glue, don't worry, you can just arrange things. And if you photograph your work at the end, we'll be able to see what you've produced. Okay, so if you would like to challenge yourself a little bit and develop your work, push it forward, you could download a couple of apps to help you do that. Um, these are free apps, but they do offer in-app purchases. So please be aware, you don't need to press anything to buy to buy any other additional extras with the apps, I've achieved my final outcome by using the free versions.